drew me to study autoimmune disease was that it it kept coming on uh, when I was uh, training at university. Every time we learned about a new disease, it seemed to have something to do with autoimmune disease. And medically, it was one of the big unsolved problems. It turned out that 12% of uh, people in Australia and in most countries in the world have an autoimmune disease. And once they've got it, they've got it for life. And there is no cure that fixes the underlying cause of the disease because we need to figure out what the underlying cause is. Hope research is a clinical study and a scientific study of, to figure out the root cause of 36 autoimmune diseases that collectively affect 12% of people in Australia and around the world. What causes autoimmune disease? We know part of the answer, uh, and that is that its cells in the immune system have gone rogue. Uh, they're no longer following the rules, and they're attacking one or other part of our body. So attacking the brain in multiple sclerosis, attacking DNA in systemic lupus, attacking the joints in rheumatoid arthritis. What we don't know is why those cells have gone rogue, and in fact, in most cases, up until now, we haven't been able to identify the rogue cells to figure out why they've gone rogue. That's what we now can do. We've got this technology that allows us to pick out a rogue cell from a normal cell, even if it's one in 10,000, and to then go inside that rogue cell and figure out what's wrong with it. Has it got a mutation? And is that mutation tell us and it, the root cause of autoimmune disease. The next step would be that if we can see that a particular rogue cell, not only be one in 10,000 in the blood, is rogue because circuit X has been corrupted, there's a good chance that there is already a drug out there that might be being used to treat cancer. Uh, which is the ultimate road cell, which suddenly would fix circuit X, uh, or at least stop it from becoming a problem. Uh, but, so we could suddenly create a way to uh, use drugs that we might already have to really treat the root cause of autoimmune disease, which is the thing that's completely missing at the moment, a cure.